Hello, my good friend. Welcome to Inspired Literary Works. I'm author and blogger Stephanie Renee Sinclair. I'm so glad you found your way to this podcast. I invite you to visit my blog at www.inspiredliteraryworks.com. Inspired Literary Works is a Christian-based blog that offers encouragement for your life challenges. I aim to create content that is motivating and targeted to help you discover your life's purpose. You're welcome to follow this podcast and subscribe to the blog. I also encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can receive post updates. The content that will be shared here will be the same content that is posted on the Inspired Literary Works blog. So if you prefer listening versus reading, I will make both options available. Today's encouragement post is 5 Tips for Planning and Achieving Your Goals Are you having a hard time achieving your goals? Perhaps you've started out with a plan, but somehow you became distracted with the demands of a career, family, or some other situation that is lasting longer than you expected. Well, regardless of your circumstance, you can still have an awesome life. Listed below are five strategies you can use to accomplish every goal you desire to achieve. Write a detailed goal description. Typically, when someone is asked what his or her goals are, generalized statements are given, such as, I want to become a doctor, a lawyer, teacher, fitness instructor, entrepreneur, and so on. Although these statements sound good, the process of achieving goals can seem daunting, especially if you don't have a team of supporters cheering you on. The best way to begin pursuing your goals is to write down the steps involved in each goal, such as filling out a college application, paying the fee, and submitting the application. Once you are accepted, move toward registration and class attendance. Focusing on the small steps will reduce the stress that is associated with looking at the entire process. Conserve time. All of us are busy, and while some responsibilities must take precedence over others, there is a way you can work toward meeting your goals amidst your hectic schedule. Most of us desire to meet our goals immediately. However, the process can sometimes take longer. However, each goal, whether short-term or long-term, can be met with discipline. If you can't spend six to eight hours working on a goal each day, begin working on one or two of your goals 15, 30, or 60 minutes a day. Although this strategy may seem minute, at the end of the week you will see how much you have accomplished. This strategy can help you avoid burnout, discontentment, and the temptation to quit. Set a deadline. Most people are used to meeting a deadline for projects that must be completed for school or for work. However, in order for you to meet your personal goals, you must set a timeline as well. While it's easy for us to meet deadlines for others who we want to impress, it's not always easy to meet our personal deadlines. This is probably due to lack of self-confidence, especially if a goal is something that your peers are not striving for. 
searching for approval can be a bigger obstacle than performing mundane routines. Sometimes, in order to be the person you want to be, you may have to risk lack of approval until you achieve your goal. If you don't step out to see what you can accomplish, you'll never know what you could have become. Set personal boundaries. The process of setting personal boundaries can be difficult especially when others rely on you for so much. These people can be your family, friends, and others to whom you have dedicated a considerable amount of time helping or who want to spend time with you. However, if you're not careful, the people you care about the most can distract you to the point where you'll find yourself months behind in your goal work. You must be determined to carve out as much time as possible for your goal agenda. If prior to your goal achievement venture, others have not taken you seriously, it's easy for them to assume that you're not doing anything important. You have to recognize the signs early, otherwise you will become resentful to their disregard of your time. I'm not saying that you have to brush them off, but just let them know in a kind way that you have to finish a project or have a deadline to meet. What's important to you may not be important to everyone else, but it's your goals that are at stake. You don't want years to go by without being able to look back and say you did accomplish something whether it's learning how to crochet, play golf, or a musical instrument. When you value your time, others will recognize the boundaries you have set and will value your time as well. Keep track of your progress. After writing down your goals, it's important to keep a record of your accomplishments. By doing so, you can review your growth and encourage yourself to keep moving forward. If you don't have someone to motivate you during each goal phase, become your own goal coach. You can also read inspirational books such as Personal Goal Atlas Journal Guide to help you remain focused on your goal journey. If you've enjoyed today's encouragement post, I invite you to purchase a copy of my book, A Summons for Champion Strength, which is available on Amazon for $3.99 for the ebook version, or you can download it for free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. A print version is also available if you prefer paperback books. This book is based on the life of Jephthah, one of the unsung heroes in the book of Judges. I wrote about his struggles, triumphs, and journey to leadership. I also shared my testimony of surviving a near-fatal auto accident, my recovery challenges, and survival methods. In this book, I have also included a daily scripture fitness plan which is a list of scripture verses that are based on strength. Champion progression charts and victory record templates are also available for you to write down your prayer requests, answers to prayer, and personal development progress. When spoken out loud every day, as a part of your daily devotion, you will be encouraged and motivated to push through the challenges you're facing with confidence that you will become a champion who is able to help others overcome their challenges. I also have another book called Targeted Bible Verses. This ebook is a handy resource you can use during your daily devotion. 
If you struggle with finding verses on finances, healing, peace, protection, salvation, strength, or wisdom, this reference ebook can help you. You can use the verses to declare God's promises and blessings over yourself, family, and situations. You can also use it as a witness tool to lead others to Christ. This book is available for 99 cents and it's free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. You can access these books by clicking on the links in this podcast description. I also want to inform you about Inspired Tea Wear, my inspirational t-shirt collection. I personally designed these shirts to spark interest in inspiring others to witness about Christ and to live a better life. The thought-provoking messages are unique, socially relatable, and encouraging. These shirts are ideal for individual witnessing or team witnessing for church or ministry groups. Inspire Tea Wear offers short sleeve tees, long sleeve tees, hoodies, toques, mugs, smartphone cases, face masks, and other accessories. You're welcome to browse the collection by clicking on the link in this podcast description. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and follow Inspired Literary Works on Facebook, Twitter at srene1481, Pinterest and Instagram, and share the encouragement post. You're also invited to visit my Life Management Tips blog, Streamlined Life Solutions at www.streamlinedlifesolutions.com. Until next time, rise above adversity and choose the option to live.